is my very special friend. Which I'm sure you can be, Jane. If you let me. Please do this off, are you, young lady? She really didn't deserve that, Jane, really. You've embarrassed me, you've embarrassed Catherine, I think you've even embarrassed yourself. No, it was a fun. Sometimes I wonder whether you've ever given me a moment's thought, Jane. Ever, once. Hmm? For one moment, have you ever considered that it wasn't just your life? This is definitely not how I wanted to live my life either. Williams? Hey, Miss Williams. What do you want to? Miss Williams? Miss Williams. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It was, I think I read the second edition, not the first edition. The short answer is yes, there's still a hard block. You're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. 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 It'll never fly, you know. Yeah, well, we don't know that yet, pal. Look, um, I'm afraid, uh, I'm going to have to ask you to be out by the end of the month. Oh, look. I know, you know, I've been a bit, a uh, bit slow with the rent, but, you know... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's not the rent, right? Now, well, that didn't help, but it's, it's just that, uh, I'm going to sell the place. Well, apparently there's a big market for them nowadays, and, uh, well, I thought a month would be fair. Right. Oh, if you could, um, clear it out a bit, I'd be grateful. Es mi propio corazón Traicionero, traicionero Yo no sé cómo puedo aborrecerte Si tanto te quiero, te quiero No me explico por qué me atormenta el rencor Yo no sé ¿Cómo puedo vivir sin tu amor? Mi rival es mi propio corazón Por traicionero, traicionero Yo no sé 
¿Cómo puedo aborrecerte si tanto te quiero? Te quiero, no me explico por qué me atormenta el rencor. Yo no sé cómo puedo vivir sin tu amor. Someone downstairs to see you. Fuck it. If you want to go get shagged, then that's between you and yourself. But understand this, Jane. If I do come with you, don't blame me for anything that might happen, okay? Anything. is um, a disabled agency that can uh, give Jane the chance to um, experience a sort of um, complete uh, adulthood to become more adult. I'm not sure I understand what you're asking me, Mr. Hopkins. No. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try and be a little more direct. Um, look. Uh, Jane here uh, essentially um, wants to uh, to lose her virginity. I think that's it. To um, to get fucked. I think yeah, that about sums it up. Uh... I'm sorry, dear. I'm afraid we can't. No. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We do this all the time. We just put like with like and uh, let it run its course. Right. Jay? Well, well great. Well, um, we'll, we'll let you know. Thanks very much, pal. Jay? Fantasies are they don't have no legs and three heads, funnily enough. Well, then I don't see what the difficulty is. Why we're walking around all the weird and wonderful. I mean, you, if all you want is, is to be laid by someone with the requisite number of limbs in all the right places, then there's no problem. I don't know why we're making a mountain of it. I mean, look where we are. It's easy. I mean, that's the truth, gentlemen. For 50 quid, it could all be over in 10 minutes. Cherry picked, ambition realized. What's the problem? Okay then, Richard. Could you fantasize about her? Well, you know, I'd try to be a little more romantic, but I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. So do I. And it's not him. I visualize. I wanted something much more. Something special. Richard Gear. Ah, well, uh, then we have a problem, Jane, because this is not Pretty Woman, and I'm sorry about that, but that's the way it is. And Jane, remember, she was the prostitute. What? Not in American gigolo. Uh, well, if it's a gigolo you're after, then yes, clearly we are in the wrong place. How do you know? 
that woman could be his mother.